In today's episode, I try and get my two horses from the UK to Ireland so I can attempt to ride, along with my husband, from the south to the north. I try and find a horse box to take us across the ferry, and you find out what happens to our two cars, the famous Pink Mini and the Pink Yak, my Mongol rally car from 2016. Will we make it to Ireland to start this epic journey? Stay tuned. Lily is eight years old. I've only had her for a couple of years now. When I got her, she basically didn't have any training. She was pretty green. So she's part Arabian, so she's very forward going, very energetic. She's bitless. We've also done endurance rides. She's also played polo a couple of seasons. And she's pretty much done everything. She's done jumping competitions, dressage competitions, barrel racing, mounted games. She's one of those, you know, all-rounders. This is Q, my um, ex-racehorse thoroughbred. I've been riding for about three years now. And for two years, I'm riding with Q. So we're in England. We leave for Ireland in literally two days. And th this is the first uh, time that we are riding our horses with their packs on. Uh, we've worked them once in the arena with their packs. And this is the first time we're actually riding them and we're riding them out on a little trail ride. And they're both handling it very well, um, especially Q. I'm very impressed with our X-Race thoroughbred. Uh, she's is she, is she, <laughs> we put the tent on her already and some drinks and Lily's bags are basically empty. They just have some fluffy things and her halter and simple lightweight stuff. But they're both handling it very well. Um, so yeah, and the drinks sloshing around and everything. I'm quite impressed with our, with our little horses. So yeah, two days before we leave for Ireland and this is the first time that we are riding them with packs on. Our smiles turn into frowns as we soon realize that moving out of England, becoming full-time nomads, although exciting, also means we now have to sell our lovely classic pink mini. We take it to a car auction to see if she can go to a happy home. The rain is very suiting, I think, for the mood. It's a sad day, it's raining. Bye bye Minnie! Bye bye Minnie. I'm in the Yaris. I'm on the way to drop it off, basically to be scrapped, sold for 50 pounds. Um, so this is the last time that I am driving the little pink yak. This car has taken me from England to Mongolia and back again. And it's lived with me here in England for the past two and a half, almost three years. And if not for the little pink yak, I would never have met my husband, Christian, who was also doing the rally at the time. And we met on the way in Azerbaijan. Without the little pink yak, we never would have met. So yeah, I'm taking the Yaris back. Christian is going to meet me there. Um, and then we're gonna load up the horses and head to Ireland. So a lot of stuff is happening today. I guess I don't really have time to be thinking too much about it. Um, but yeah, this is this is goodbye, little pink yak. So that's it. I've sold the heiress. Um, 50 pounds. So yeah, she's um, she's going away now. And I'm waiting for Christian to come and fetch me. I am walking on the busy road to meet with Christian so he doesn't have to come on the busy road. There we are. Our first uh, eat out with the horses. <laughs> Chris was happy with a pepperoni pizza slice. They had a nice lady chit chatting to us and brought us the horses water. Yeah. Ooh. And um, just for the records, we just dropped the Yaris. So I rode the horses to Newbury, ponied Lily, rode Q, 
and then Crystal had to do a 10 minute walk to catch up with me because I kind of got stuck on the big road which the horses didn't really want to go on. So we trained that in Ireland further but yeah successful uh, car drop off and now we are officially dependent on horses. horses. <laughs> so we have to ride back from uh, to where we came from today. So we have another hour ride and then we see how it goes. It's 12 o'clock. The horse box is coming at 2 p.m. I think it's about an hour ride or more. So hopefully we get back in enough time to finish packing our things now that we don't have a vehicle. Going through the roundabout on horsies. We make it back just in time to catch our horse box over to Ireland. We wave goodbye to our friends before heading out. We are in for a long day and night together and we settle in for the long haul. It is 9 o'clock at night and we are about to load up the girlies into the horse box again. And go to the ferry. Ferry boat. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, but our horses seem happy. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Fighting with each other. <laughs> Rawr! Really? Grumpy sisters. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh goodness, these girls. They act like they're sisters, but they're not. So here we are. The horses just drove away in the horse boat with their passport, with a guy we already paid he said go to this ferry boat and i see you tomorrow morning maybe we board the ferry at 11 30 at night and arrive in ireland at 4 a.m with three hours drive left of our journey the four of us are tired i silently hope that this journey will be worth it blaze a new trail for a potential new bridle path. We discover some setbacks for starting our journey. Our girth was left in the horse box. Lily and Q see waves for the first time. And head out on the road together for the first time.